Badminton is one of the most popular sports in the world, and people from almost 200 countries in three largest continents like Asia, Europe, and America are involved in playing this game on different levels. However, the legacy of this sport took centuries to get to its current prestigious position. Now it has become an Olympic sport, which only shows its immense popularity throughout the world. It all started way back in the 5th century BC, through the Chinese people who played the game they called Ti Jian Zi, or kicking the shuttle. Its objective is not to let the shuttle hit the ground without using the hands. Five more centuries pass by, still from Asia and a part of Europe, a game named Battle Door and Shuttlecock was played. This time, it's not only China who played it. Japan and Greece also played a game, wherein the player used a battle door, or better known as a paddle, to hit the shuttlecock back and forth. Around the 16th century, it has become known among children in England. The game was known as Jeu de Volant in Europe, and in the mid-1800 in India, a game they called Puna was played. This game is more like the battle door and the shuttlecock. The only difference is it uses a net that serves as one of the bases of the scoring. Around 1860s, when British Army discovered in India, and play the game after then. They import the equipments when they go back to England during 1870s. Three years after, a Duke of Beaufort held a lawn party in his country place named Badminton, situated in a small county in southwest England. And thereupon, this game took the official name, the Badminton Game. Since this sport has been first played by elite people in England, as that being said, it is a sport that we can line up with golf, polo, fencing, and other sports that mostly high-class people are into. It was in 1877 that the Bath Badminton Club was formed, who developed the first official set of rules. Do you know that the badminton is also known as the physical chess game? Yes, like chess game. Badminton is also a game of strategies, tactics, and mental fitness, but since it involves body movements, this game requires speed, stamina, agility, power, and also delicate skills and touches. Players must also be as fit as other sportsmen or, or sportswomen who play football, tennis, and other well-known sports. To achieve the readiness of the body before playing badminton, here are the example warm-ups. By now, I hope you have a better understanding what the history of the badminton game and some of its practices.